Cool. You can, you can reflect them and uh, catch them as well, which is always an option for everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that being said, I mean, Teb currently uh, sixth on our PR. Definitely yes. the favorite to take this, but not last. Definitely, as I said before, not anybody to sneeze on, especially if you made it this far at this event. Catching that spot dodger original immediately. Tub opting to play more of an aggressive style in this matchup. Just waiting to th and throwing out these back airs. Just sort of floating there. Not necessarily moving horizontally, but just jumping up and waiting for Teb to make a commitment. Oh, just recognizing that uh, that tomahawk, that empty glide into grab. Very very keen awareness by Teb. Recognize it shows that he's actually played this matchup quite a bit. So I recognize that as a as a trick right from the get-go. Oh, tries to back out of that situation, but not last buffers in a jab, forcing Teb off of him. Teb immediately gets back in, though. Just still trying to stay Ooh, nice roll aggressive. option there from uh, not last. Yeah, it was, uh, it's really nice, especially at this sort of percent, because it's not the percent that somebody would necessarily expect you to be scared enough to go for that, right? Exactly. Uh, Teb and wasn't smothering him to that extent. And to, Mario's to be best coverage for option for that would be going for like either a down smash or a reversed up smash as well. And there, and there we see not last's answer to that up smash, right? He just paced back and forth, waited for that pivot up smash, got out of range, landed a dash attack. And Peach dash attack is a kill option as well. It's a little bit higher, but it definitely can get kills. Mm -hmm. And Peach just waiting with that turn up. Ooh, doing that dash attack to grab the turn up, but that opening up Teb's back air. Oh, that dash attack out of the corner, but the back throw is going to do yes. it. Yeah. Peach very light. It's, it's, I mean, it's also 148%, 100%. Yeah. And Smashville, smallest side boundaries. It's true. The right side is the smallest one for Smashville, right? Uh, the right one is also slightly smaller yeah. still. And Teb just playing very, very patiently right now, just waiting for Not Last to try and commit to something. He knows he's got the lead. Oh. Getting something started, getting a turn up ready to go. Doesn't find a landing punish there, gets himself a forward throw. Looking for that stage spike with the down air, right? The third hit of it. But uh, favorable trade for Tab, making sure to clank right through it. it getting Mario, two-framing Mario on his recovery is, does seem like it's a very difficult task to do. Mm -hmm. You have to have immaculate spacing and timing, but here we go, Tab getting something started. And it's the reverse? Not quite. Nah. You saw the kill sparks, but uh, not it didn't all come together. Oh, last hit happened, wow! Catches that sidestep. Yeah, very clever stuff right there. Pivoting at that last moment, too, to fake out. Uh, exactly. Especially in that situation with all the momentum, uh, the mental thought is, oh, he's looking for a pivot grab right now to like back throw me off stage and to keep these things rolling. But uh, Tab also baiting out that option ahead of time without really conditioning for it. Yeah, the pivot com pivot combined with forward smash for Mario gives you put so much space in between you and your opponent because mm -hmm. the forward smash gives you a little bit of space as Mario backs up to charge it. Yeah. And then the pivot as well gives you just a little bit of space. Yeah, exactly. So finishing off that first game, it was a, it was a two stock, but very, very close to not being a two stock. Yeah. The way that percent ended up shaking out. Not last taking his time, though, changing his song, which is always important, especially if you feel like, you know, you didn't like the way you played in the previous game. You change that soundtrack. It's like, it's a different, different movie, different music video. This isn't such a, getting such a tempo anymore. differently. Yeah, that too. Getting started. Not last starts off a little bit of skip forward. Sean Peach's elegance off. Nice little up tilt from the throw combo. Just waiting at the ledge. Oh my goodness, just waiting so long and then still reading the jump option and just staying in place with that down air. Not last is showing some amazing patience right now, just waiting, waiting for Teb to do something. Oh, just spot dodging that dash grab attempt. Teb, meanwhile, just ending it right there, recognizing that his combo was done. Trying to force his way in, doesn't quite get the roll-in grab, and meanwhile sets himself with his back to the wall. Oh, that's the that's nice. Very, very strong play from Not Last coming out right now. He's doing a lot of walking as well right now too, which he didn't seem to do as much of last game. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really working out for it, getting more precise spacing against Teb, which is one of the most important parts of the Mario matchup, is just spacing him out properly. It's not just giving him more spacing, it's making sure that as he's spacing, he leaves the shield open uh, option open for himself, right? And because oh, yeah. he has that option, it forces Teb to consider it, and sometimes going with a dash grab. And then that frees you up to then challenge his approaches. You get yourself a better spectrum. All the different enemy levels you get down to as you get to this level of play. Mm -hmm.
especially because gliding didn't seem to be paying out too well for him in the first game. So yeah. right now, though, those forward airs almost spacing out Teb. Going down for that very ledge. Teb waiting, just charging up that foot. I like that option, too. Just going ahead and getting every advantage he can get, not forcing the question. Not even last if he is at the deficit. Can, though. And not last recruiting seems to be working out quite well for him, just jumping back to the platform when he has it available. Mm -hmm. Or just running backwards and waiting for Teb to commit and run forward with something. Just a simple back throw, getting himself another edge guard situation. Is it gonna be the same story? No, goes for a down air this time. I do like that not last is still mixing up his edge guard. He's not he's not just abusing what got him the stock last time, he's anticipating the fact that Teb is gonna be playing around it. So he's still mixing it around. And not is doing a lot of float cancels as well. Um just jumping up a little bit and then just going back onto the ground, but not really going up too high with it. Mm -hmm. Just sort of playing with what he's going to do and trying to mix Teb up on that option. Good air dodge from Teb coming out, just narrowly avoiding the forward air. Oh, almost getting that conversion off the forward throw, but a little too much rage on Mario for it to come together. But he's still, oh! Turn up still wants a turn up though. drop? Interesting. Oh, and forward air coming out, not quite gonna take it yet. Oh! oh. No, yeah, he has he's jump, still so fine, yeah. I was scared for Teb for a moment there. Teb just waiting in his shield. Oh, rolls in. Very scary stuff. The back air is not going to do it. Going to send Teb way out, though. Nice cape getting the turn up away from him so he doesn't steal his double jump. But the back throw is going to take Teb's stock he, he gets the He gets that vegetable into back throw kill. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the downside of not eating your veggies. The sooner or later, they're, they're going to come home to roost, man. Well, if you got to get your veggies somewhere, Nissen Cup Noodle, new veggie flavor, is one yeah. of the best options Shout for that. Shout out to the very veggie cup noodle. We got one right in front of us, too. Very, very nutritious. You'll see it after the yes. set. Always coming up with new recipes. Yeah, shout out Just to like Nisa. Ignis. <laughs> it's, it's the counterpicks, right? They're trying to counterpick your taste. Exactly. They know exactly where you're weak at any step of the way. Like, Just I'm like, a meat eater. Yeah, I need veggies. Yeah, okay, I mean, the, we got that. I, 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 think, I think beef is the lilac of, of choices because <laughs> that's my favorite. Oh, gosh. But <laughs> anyway. Well, here we are at lilac, the beef stage. I do really like Lilat, though, as a, as a stage to take somebody, especially if you want to be punishing their landing and keeping your momentum going. And I think that's one thing that Teb has been forced, been forced to kind of withdraw in advantageous situations, not being able to pin not last down on a platform, for example. I think he's hoping to change that here on Lilat. And against more traditional peach play, not last doesn't do the floats as much, but against very traditional, oh, gonna, oh, not the reverse. Uh, oh, yeah. But against traditional peach play, um, Lilat can do a lot to mess up the peach's float because of the Lilat tilt and can interrupt floats when uh, the peach player does not intend to. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Especially if it tilts suddenly while you're floating, you'll suddenly force a landing. So, very good awareness as a counter pick. And we're seeing it right now. Teb right now running with a lot of momentum. Not last doesn't seem to be retreating as much. I mean, he has no space at this yeah, point, right? Like, difficult. his back is to the yeah. wall. There we go, though. He manages to get a block in the corner, and just like that, reverses the situation. It's now his ledge to control. But like you said, that <laughs> the float is a little bit perilous here on this stage. You can see a little hesitation with not last movement, recognizing, okay, well, if I retreat too much, I'm going to be forced to land. Oh, Ooh, and he gets the umbrella. Doesn't get to kill, but that is one of not last's favorite ways to kill. Well, especially with rage, it can get very, very early kills. As, as not last calls it, very jank. But sometimes Jank's effective. And he gets the dash attack, not quite gonna kill yet. Not Lash just waiting for Teb to come down. Oh, I like the patience. And Teb, of course, recognizing that uh, a shield poke was coming, jumping away from that situation. Not Lash looking for these short float back airs, but uh, Lilat messing him up a little bit. Oh, the up air not quite gonna kill, but we have ourselves, both these characters, at death percent. A lot of momentum at stake for the player who can take that first stock. Oh, rising down air actually managing to get not last onto the stage. He gets him with the back air, not quite. Z drop, turn up, not gonna do it. Tries to catch Lane on the platform, but you see Teb jumps away at the last second before he lands. Oh! Back air second, but he's still not able to take it. Just trying to keep this going, forcing a double jump. Looking Both for characters at very hard percent now. Anything is gonna kill. Okay, so that was really interesting. Teb was standing at roll distance, and he was doing it just to provoke not last into doing any option that wasn't a roll to and try to catch it. And then he ran up it. and up aired. Yeah, he yeah. tried to catch it. He didn't, though. Uh, not last, though, of course, finding his back throw. Teb finding his immediately after, but his isn't going to kill because he doesn't have rage right now. And Lala does have some pretty big sides as well. Ooh, oh. that up smash going to come through. Perfect punish right there. Great shielding coming through from Teb. 
always tricky to shield Peaches down there. Um, Gotta wait for all three clicks. Just like Dorothy. <laughs> and Notlast has been utilizing uh, Peach's neutral air as well, very well, to escape Mario's strings when they have not been perfect. Oh! Reverse Nair and just a couple up airs. Just like that, it's, it's crazy how much distance Mario can make up with a single opening. Notlast waiting under that platform. Teb landing with down air, just retreating immediately, trying to find another neutral situation. Put so much shield pressure on with his aerials. Teb very patiently trying to go back, gets a little bit careless with that forward smash. Ooh, that forward air so close to doing it. The next one will absolutely do the trick at this point. Not last aware of it, just a lot of fox striding right there, a lot of intimidation, and just going into grabs right now. Constantly punishing the shield. Trying to get, figure, get him to, trying to get Teb to commit to something else and maybe get him going for another read, possibly up smash. Oh, the forward throw, not gonna do it either. 140% now. How is Teb gonna respond with the get up? Oh, and he wins for it. Yeah. Teb had been going for all those jump jump escapes as well off, mm. the, off of the ledge, and uh, he was just waiting for that. He'd been air dodging, and he finally